The day the man was abducted. Oh, what about the 25th then? If the, this doesn't work, I'll try Dio's. All right, it is Sigma's. That's pretty simple. The screen's blue now. Do you think this could maybe possibly be it? Yeah. It's probably the safe password. That's good, right? Well, there's one problem. This screen shuts off after a set amount of time. No! We need to be fast! I can do it! I got a really good memory! All I need is a moment! Okay. Sun's on the moon. You found a safe pass. We're going to the past tab in the archive. Well, did you memorize it? Indeed I did. It's locked away up here. Phew. What a relief. This honestly feels like the first time in a while I haven't had to go to easy mode and look shit up or something, but thankfully, um, I, I figured that was a really easy blue password, by the way. Um, the day the man was abducted? Well, whatever. Um, I did it, so let's get out of here. So we got sun, sun, moon, and then moon, sun, sun. Sun, sun, moon, 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 moon, sun, sun. Sun, sun, moon. Moon, sun, sun. Sun, sun, moon. Moon, sun, sun. Sun, sun, moon. Moon, sun, sun. I believe it was... Shit, I've already forgotten. I think it's... Sun... Sun, moon? Ah! Completed! Ha! It opened! You found a gold file! Hooray! Only one to go. And then... Again, Mommy, again! This time I won't forget. This one was moon... Sun... Oh shit, this is correct, right? Thank God. I was like, is it the right one or the left one? Having the same issue, but I did it right this time. And what do we got in here? Piece of cake. Anything interesting or just basic stuff? All right, let's see what we got. First is the map. The last map of Floor B ever. It says Floor B. The one we found in the infirmary said Floor A. Yeah, so did the one in the lounge. Then that would make Floor A the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down to get here. You keep saying that, but like, there's gotta be something more to this. Meh. Yeah, you're right. Maybe there's a trick elevator. Okay, let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. These must be... The moon cards! They have moons on them. Then these have to be the cards the announcer was talking about. We've got two of them, just like with the sun keys. Blech. You take one, Clover. Huh? Why? God damn it, why do you always ask why? Like, people need to be smarter. Some people, I think, get it, but, like, Alice, I think, gets it sometimes, but a lot of the people are just like, huh? Why? I don't get it. Like, what? Are you kidding? This is so obvious. Well, you're a solo, right? Alice and I only need one. Oh, right. Got it. Wow, what do we got left? Yes, wow indeed. A key. Is that the exit? Key? The, is that the exit? Yes, the key is the exit. Uh, it must be. This is our ticket out of here. Alright then. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Hooray! Away! We'll never have to go through any of that intro stuff ever again. All we have left now is pathway endings, pretty much. And one more white door, I guess. And there's probably one more door I have to go through at some point. Like, here, I'm guessing once I go through the nine door, just, like, in the first game, it threw me off. Like, I thought I go through the nine door, that'd be it. But in this game, I'm pretty confident that once I go through the nine door, there will be another puzzle. And it might be the kind of thing where, like, we need everybody to solve it or something, maybe. Uh, so, like, when, whenever someone like Kay or Clover gets out alone, they get stuck or something. But, uh, anyways. Um. Yeah. This is the exit. It's locked. Alright, here we go. Okay. 
do it. Three, two, zero. I found it, oh boy, I feel special. All right, here we go, plot time. So I believe this is gonna be the deal pathway somehow, I think. Is this gonna have a good way of figuring out who killed the old woman? Like, ugh, I don't know. I, I feel like, I still feel that was so anticlimactic. And the way they did it with the Luna Pathway, what I'm assuming is the Luna Pathway. Oh. Ambidex gate has been opened. Yeah, this happens every single time, except for the one time it didn't. What was I gonna say? Oh, oh yeah. What I'm assuming is the Luna Pathway, which is the other one. Uh, the one where I got stuck on the password screen. Um, that one had a very weird way of doing things. It seemed like... It was meant to be played before the K-Pathway, like the way it revealed things, but then when you get to the end, you have to play the K-Pathway first, so it's like, what? Uh, anyways. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. The gate's been opened? One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Yeah, well, they're a bunch of bitches. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Oh. This usually doesn't happen. Interesting. Whoa. Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AV gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. Indeed. Douchebag as usual. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. Huh? Wait, you guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? Oh, I didn't even realize that. There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Um, I'd like to know the explanation, but no, I don't think we have. Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? He's gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. Gone? Alright, so we have the Treatment Center this time. We found our key cards and left, but on our way out, he just disappeared. So, you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there? No, that's not it. Look at this map. Okay. Whoa, long way around. Oh, so you go through the green door and the treatment center, and eventually you end up at the blue door? That's kind of funky. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on 4A. All right. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. We've never seen this loop-de-loop -loop thing going on before. That's kind of neat. Or if we have, I wasn't really paying attention. This is the only time it's really been highlighted, I guess. Huh. Well, maybe you went back to the other floor already? That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. Alright. I'll come with you then. We got a better chance at finding him with two pairs of eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about it. No problem, Junpei. You're cool. Sometimes. Except when you get all pissy. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Alright. Me too. Hopefully Alice doesn't get infected again. Probably she will, though. This... That is the guessing game, though. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. It's kind of a toss the coin. Sometimes when she dies, I don't even know if she was infected or not. It's just a... Then we'll leave Flore to you guys. Right. Good job. Good, good, good go. Yeah. Go, go team, go! <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that. Let's go. Have fun. Come on, Clover. Hopefully no one gets killed. Right behind you. Temmy OG and I headed through the blue door while Alice, Clover, and Kate climbed the elevator. I remember this place. It was in the pathway that I went to this room that everybody died. The clover ending, quote-unquote. What is this place? 
Uh, it looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. All right. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. All right. They investigated this room first. Yeah, okay. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. So at least they found the treatment center, which means they can put cork in the treatment thing, but they didn't find the laboratory, unfortunately. At least I don't think so. No, yeah, we definitely didn't, because the pantry, the uh, treatment center, and the, the PEC. So yeah, no laboratory. Damn, he's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Oh, well. What are you going to do when you're infected with Radical 6? Temioji's face was drawn, and the knuckles on his fist were white. He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Suddenly, he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. I put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him toward the exit. <laughs> like helping an old man cross the street. And into the big warehouse. The white doors again. So, this is the Floor B warehouse, huh? Looks just like the other one. That's pretty close. I'll give you that. A couple differences, though. Have a look over there. The doors are shining? No way! Are these chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. Makes sense. I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go tell the... No. First we look for Quark. Alright. But... Look, I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to Floor A for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. Alright. Let's go. Hmm? Dioche bag? What are you doing here? Dio! Oh, it's just you. Oh, it's just me. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? No, have you? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Ruminate? Pretty big word for you. Mostly because I don't even actually know what that means. Never even seen it before. What the fuck is ruminate? <laughs> Chewing his cut, so to speak. Chewing his cut? What, what, what does that even mean? Chewing his... What is a cut? Why do you keep using words I don't know the meaning of? What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? I, I, don't, I don't know what that word is. I'm sorry. Maybe it's in the gold files. Hey! This is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him, too. Uh, why would I do that? Uh, maybe because you're a decent human being? Ass. Otherwise, why would you have come down here? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? You know, because you're a decent human being? I know you're not, but you can pretend to be. What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. <laughs> that would be hilarious. He could be hiding in some swank little cubby hole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. That's insane! Yeah, there's... What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. I kind of have an idea. I've already seen him, sort of. Sort of. Maybe. Like, it didn't look like any of us, but I've seen him, I think, so... I guess it's possible Quark grew up and dyed his hair. He could totally be a kid. 
I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. Oh, shut up. You're the one who's a jerk face. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. It won't bite him in the ass. Quark's a cool kid. The air grew thick with tension, but before their tempers managed to set it a, a, a light. A, a, a light? Whatever. Fire burst into the room. Uh oh, someone's dead. Sigma. Yup, someone's dead. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. Uh huh. We found something. Someone's dead. Come on, all of you. Or a bomb? There's no way you actually found another. Like, in, in this pathway, randomly? Just. You'll understand when you get there, all right? Now come on. Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. Uh, this is a location of one of the bombs, question mark? Or a dead body? We've seen a lot of dead bodies in the crew quarters. Which is it? Dun dun dun. The way she's talking, I don't think it's a dead body, actually. Is it a bomb, really, in this pathway? That'd be weird. Something else, even? What else is there? Okay, it's corpses. N no. Uh, yes. All right then. So, Alice and Luna. Wow. So much for having a nice little round of the AB game with Clover. <sighs> All right. It's always Alice, and then occasionally Luna. Like, why is it always the same pattern? Well, I guess consistency, because whoever's killing them is killing them for a reason. Unless it's suicide, because sometimes with Alice it's suicide. So the question is, is it suicide this time? Like, the way they act, it's like sometimes it isn't, but I don't know. Anyways. What in the world? That is not how he said that. There was a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Luna was the same. They're, they're dead, both of them. By then, everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke, so who's everybody? That just leaves Clover and Kay, I guess? Yeah. Silence filled the room, following, following into my ears and throat like cold, brackish water? Brackish, okay. A chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me, but Alice and Luna I had known. They'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. So, if in the one pathway, if we're to believe, you know, in that one pathway, Alice was, like, we don't know who she was killed by, but if she was killed by, like, but, but people think... They came to the conclusion, Clover did, that she was killed by uh, Luna. So Clover, it seems like, killed Luna, most likely. Um, but that's after, you know, there was, some, there was a time lapse between the two deaths. But sometimes, we've been finding them together dead, like, from the start. So, the question is, was the investigation still carried out, but we just never saw an in-depth look at it? I guess it's possible? Anyways... Or it could just be different circumstances. I guess the only way to know is to keep playing the game. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who, who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. I know it was Dio originally. Clover, I think. Oh, really? Okay, this is different. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. 
That makes it very suspicious. As if she killed somebody. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? Which A-B game? Oh, the other one. That's like, A-B game? That hasn't happened yet, but... Oh, uh, the other one, yeah. Um... Well, yeah, there was a fight, but... Alice was the one getting bitchy about it, so that wouldn't really make sense. And even then, they kind of patched it up. It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. Oh, that's nice, Dio. What a Dio bag. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. No, I'd say you're the most likely Dio bag, but hey. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Stop it, Dio. And the A-B game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. And Luna is a solo. And Luna is partnered up with Fi and Dio. Wait a second. Fi and Dio both have sex. Shit! Which means they're both gonna get out. Unless they pick ally. Fi might actually try to pick ally. Stop Dio from getting betrayed. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Which would make uh, Dio actually suspicious this time. Who was Luna's opponents? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. That's very likely. Why the hell would I do something like that? More likely than the other scenario, Dio Spag. Because you're a Dio Spag. That's what you do it. Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. You've done crazy shit for, for an advantage before. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a guy or a child for a few points? You've done it before! I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, good question. Intriguing. Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? So you think it's Zero Senior's doing? Oh. Yeah, that white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. That would make sense. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Ha ha ha, you're not funny. Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. True, but he's a kid, so shut up. Although he does have Radical 6, but that makes you more inclined to kill yourself. I've already been over this. So hey, maybe Alice did. Like, you never know. Like, in these scenarios, it's always weird. Like, are we supposed to think this is a murder mystery? Or should I already know from other pathways that this is suicide? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to know it's suicide, or if it's supposed to be considered something else, or... I don't know. Nah, that's crazy. Cork couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There it must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. 
Dio, knock it off. That's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, we better get on with this AB game thing. As weird as it's gonna be. Uh, Clover, trust me please. Please, pretty please. This is gonna be a very awkward one, cause like, she could very well easily betray me to try to get out, which means I should betray her, but if she allies and I betray, then everybody's gonna fuck me over because I never get to get out, so yeah. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Alright, time to head for the A-B rooms, guys. Come on, we got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Sorry if I haven't been talking much, it's mostly just because... This dialogue, it's just, we've seen this stuff over and over, so... I mean, the circumstances might change slightly, but... It's still basically all the same stuff, so... It's getting a bit stable. Hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, guys. Yeah. Come on. So two of the 1BP people are dead. The only 1BP person left is Tembioji, who is currently paired with Quark, who is missing. And he's up against... K. Yeah, he's up against K. So... K will most likely choose Ally. So Tem Miyoji can choose Betray, so that's gonna happen, and then Fi and Dio, Dio will want to choose Betray, Fi will want to choose Ally, so who's gonna win that? Don't know. And then versus Clover? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what she's gonna do. Probably Betray, but I don't know. Depends on how this conversation goes, most likely. Hey, Clover, can you choose Ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose Betray. But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points, and then we'll have eight. This is something that somebody who wants to choose Betray would say. I'm sorry, Sigma. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't. Like, somebody who wants to choose Betray would say this, leading the other person to think you're plotting. If you really want her to choose Ally, you gotta open up your heart to her. So, yeah. However you do that, I don't know. Anyways, that means it'll be pretty easy for us to get 9 in the next round. Over? Yeah? I said I uh, want you to choose Ally. Of course, I'll choose it as well. Like, the way you're saying that is just so rude. Okay. You'll choose Ally too, right? Of course! Man, the way this is going, I, I, I think Clover's planning on betraying. I, I don't know. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. She's gonna betray, for sure. I wasn't sure if she'd actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. You could have said it differently, tried to be nicer about it. You were being so rude there. 
Anyways, I, I was preparing to enter maybe room my own when I heard Fly's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. All right. Oh, hey, Fly. Something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round, her vote will default to Ally. Uh-huh. Her opponent is Dio and me. Yep. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. That's a problem. You and Dio are gonna choose Betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left. But she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well... It's not like it can make her any debtor anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait, what about your plan to get everybody out? Was that bullshit? You mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP... I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? Well then, trick him and pick Ally. You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have 8 points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover. Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. How nice. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Oh. Oh, what kind of come are we talking about? Why? I just... know that you're important, somehow. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now, too, you know. But he's facing Ten Miyoji. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he chooses ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. It's almost time. I'm thinking I'm going to choose ally. I was thinking about betray, because I want to stop her from betraying, but I'd rather, like, if, if, if Clover's going to pick betray anyways, we're both stuck in here. If I pick ally and she picks betray, she gets out. If we both pick Ally, then hey, we're buddy buddies. Sure, we're stuck when they get out, but, you know, happy end. So, I'm going to pick Ally. Remember what I said. Yeah, but I still want to pick Ally just because, I mean, I'd rather Clover get out than me. Plus, I think she's going to pick Betray anyway, so if I pick Betray, nothing changes. You have to choose Betray. Uh, sorry, picking the other one. At least this time. If I get an instant game over, I'll switch. <laughs> She looked at me in the eye until I nodded, then turned and jogged to the door. Oh boy. Threatening music. Clover really gonna choose Ally? Not once have I been with Alice in this room, by the way. Not once. Every single time, she's already been dead. Alright then. <laughs> is Clover really gonna choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promised I'd choose Ally, so that's what I'm gonna do. But Dio's almost certainly gonna have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Real talk, I'd betray, but um, I want I want to play the nice guy, so I'm gonna pick Ally. But um, 
Unless I could somehow convince Fi to trick Dio and stay, but I don't know if she'd be willing, be willing to do that anyways. If she could even pull it off. But, I mean, she, I'm sure she could pull it off. She's done it before. Anyways. Nine, eight, seven. Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Three, two, one. I, I know that's what I, what, if I was Sigma, I would have done with Fi. Like, try to trick him. Try to pick Ally, like... If, uh, if you do want everyone to get out, because she said that's her plan, so I don't know if that was bullshit or not, but I'm going to pick Ally. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. The door ground open and I stepped out. All around me other AB rooms were disgorging their occupants. Wait! Wait? Dio! What? Fi's voice echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. And to Dio. Dio. So he's going for it. Before we even uh, look at the results, I broke into a run, hoping foolishly that I might be able to catch him. He's going to try and open it! So it has come to this, then. What's going on? He hasn't even seen the results yet. He doesn't need to. It took only seconds for Temyoji and Clea to explain the math to her. No! Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. I haven't seen the results either. I'd like to see them! Mine matter! I mean, mine really don't matter if Dio's actually leaving, but... Uh, I'd like to see if Clover can get away. I mean, it's funny. If she actually betrayed, then she gets to get out, and she'll be thankful. If she allied, like, you know, we promised, then she'll be kind of pissed off, probably. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. The announcer's voice hadn't even faded when Dio reached the door. With a grunt, he swung the lever down. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, Dio! Does Clover at least get get to get out with you? Yes, it's opening. Wait! There's no point in trying to stop him now. The door has already opened. Dio leapt through the door without so much as a backward glance. Fi paused in front of it, then turned to look at me. What happened? I chose Ally. I made a promise. Clover trusted me. Sigma. I see. Makes sense. I guess that's how this ends then. You had to make a choice that was right for you. And now, I have to make the choice that's right for me. And that is? Goodbye. Sigma. So did Clover pick Ally, actually? Wow. Hooray, buddy buddies! Uh, it's a shame that uh, we can't do anything with that, though. I'm kind of surprised. Fi turned, her eyes sad, and followed Dio through the door. This feels like it's the proper way to do it, though. I don't want to trick Clover to leave. Like, I'm not sure where this is going. Like, which pathway is going to be more correct. Anyways, Fi turned, her eyes sad, followed Dio through the door. The number nine door 
has closed. This ends the Nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. So are we looking at a game over or what? No, there is more. Okay. Well, that's it. There's nothing we can do now. We can only hold out hope that help will arrive. Sigma, thank you. You're welcome. This feels correct to me. For, for choosing ally. Yeah. Well, a promise is a promise, right? Honestly, I was hoping you'd pick Betray, but whatever. Is that the first time I've ever hoped my opponent picked Betray? It might be. What about Luna, Alice, and the old woman? Who killed them? Maybe one of the people who just escaped. It's quite possible. Or maybe one of us. Well, there's one other person. Quark? Oh yeah. God, Quark. You're right. I still have to find Quark. Indeed. Are we actually going to keep searching? So that would make this, this, that would make this the correct pathway? Uh, trying to say things with the correct inflection. I bug people about that a lot, but I fuck it up a lot too. Suddenly full of energy, Tem Miyoji leapt up and took off for one of the warehouse exits. That left only myself, Clover, and Kay. We stared at the number nine door in silence. It would never open again. What else could we do but stare? Is that it? Is that really it? Oh, it's a game over? I don't want that to be a game over. That feels like the better pathway. Like Clover's all happy and like, yeah, we both picked ally. Like, I like that one better. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. This better not be one of those cases where I like the other ending better. So, we'll see, though. Because I'm going to be doing the other one right now. <laughs>